Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first part of my FNF full modding course, where I bring you through the start of your Friday Night Funkin' modding journey to the end of your Friday Night Funkin' modding journey. So today, we're going to be going over how to actually um, get all the things you need set up, so all the software you're going to need, everything like that. So to start, you're going to need Psych Engine. Now, if you're not sure what a Friday Funkin Engine is, they're basically add-ons to the existing Friday Funkin, and they make modding and quality of life just so much better. So you've got to use them. You can choose. You can also do a Yoshi Crafter Engine, but this uh, tutorial series is for Psych Engine, so I'd recommend you do that. So to find the Psych Engine. I wouldn't recommend using the game banana page. That can be outdated at some time or sometimes. So I'd recommend going to this link. I'll have it down below and going to the releases tab. You can also download the source code and make a source code mod. We'll cover um, source code modding in a bit, um, in a bit for sure. But um, we're going to focus on everything else first because I don't think source code is necessary it doesn't open up too many possibilities you can do most things with Lua so go to 0.6.3 or 0.7 or whatever is the newest release for you and you can download save it to whatever folder you want and then you let it download. It's a pretty small download, so uh, I'll just let this pass by. But while we are downloading this, let's go take a look at Visual Studio Code. Now, if you're going to want to be coding with Lua, which trust me, you're going to be wanting to code with Lua, this is the thing you're going to want. So it is completely free. Yeah, so I think uh, you just need to press download for Windows and it'll pop up a little window. Now, I already have this installed, so we're just going to ignore this. It should bring you to a bit of a um, docs page. You don't need this for uh, this particular tutorial series, so let's move on. You're going to need Adobe Animate if you are an artist and you want to make your own sprites. It's unfortunate, it's like $20 a month, but um, it is Cyber Monday or Black Friday or whatever, so you might be able to get a good deal on it. I don't know. Um, you don't have to buy it though. There's alternatives that will like uh, FNF Sprite Cheat Generators, I think they're called. But um, you can also just you can go the more illegal way, but I will not endorse that. I will not share any links for that and I generally don't recommend you do it. But yeah, I already have this, so let's move on. FL Studio. So they're doing a giant Black Friday sale right now, but if you see it, uh, it's still very expensive. So you can always just use the th free trial. Um, it has a lot of the features still. It's missing a lot of the plugins though. And you also can't save your files, so you have to make every song in one go. Or, again, you can go the more illegal route, but I'm not going to be endorsing that. I don't recommend you do it. I'm not going to be sharing any links for that. Um, yeah, this you're only going to need this if you're a song composer. It's what most FNF composers use. You can also use Ableton. But in this particular course, we're going to be using FL Studio. So when you load up Visual Studio Code, it will look a bit like this. You know, you'll have a completely empty screen and there won't really be any errors like I had right there. But um, what you're going to want to do is you're going to actually want to go into extensions. And you want to search up Funkin and download the Funkin script autocomplete. So when we get to Lua, this will be extremely helpful because it will uh, give you like autocomplete. 
and autocorrect and stuff like that. So yeah, just install this. It just takes a few clicks. And now that is a Visual Studio Code set up. All right, so I do believe that's it for the first part. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you learned something from it. Um, if you are watching this the moment it releases, the next three tutorials will actually be coming out today. So keep your eye out. Um, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Otherwise, they're probably already out. So I'll link, uh, I'll, I'll link the next one in the um, end screen. So yeah, bye guys.